Good day. I'm Michael Thompson. I'm a big fix technical advisor for Asia Pacific based out of Melbourne in Australia. Down the bottom, you can see my QR code, which you can scan to get in contact with me via LinkedIn. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to deploy and configure our brand new Big Fix Insights for Vulnerability Remediation. Big Fix Insights for Vulnerability Remediation is all about helping manage those vulnerabilities that are released day one, but providing some automation and correlation engines that will actually help in identifying which particular patches need to be deployed to close out those vulnerabilities and reduce those risks. So it's all about increasing your speed to be able to close down those risks as fast as possible and providing that automation there. So the deployment steps that I'm going to step you through are enabling the Big Fix site for vulnerability remediation. We're going to then go to subscribe our endpoints to the site. Then we'll deploy the appropriate integration solution, whether that be tenable in the, the demonstration that I'm going to do, or Qualys which is the other uh, capability that we have for integration. And then we'll deploy the appropriate BI report for our BI tool. In my instance, I'm using uh, Power BI. And then we'll configure the database permissions. And as I say here, you can find more information on the installation instructions on that following URL. So I've got my big fix environment. I've got my tenable in this instance. So this video is going to demonstrate using Tenable to do the configuration. But there's also steps for doing Big Fix. So the first thing we're going to do is go to our Big Fix management domain. And we want to go to our license overview. And what we're going to need to do is find our um, Big Fix insights for vulnerability remediation. Now, if you're a, a customer that's got lifecycle or compliance, you should be able to find it inside there. So we just simply click enable on that site. And with the magic of editing, I'll speed up the time lapse for it to do a gather of that particular site. Okay, so we can see that the site has now gathered. The next thing to do is to set up our subscriptions. Okay, so next we're going to be deploying our service our big fix insights for vulnerability remediation service in this instance i'm going to choose to put my installation in the non-default directory because i've got most of my big fix infrastructure installed on my d drive so i want to keep that as a standard inside my environment but you may want to keep it at the default location that's fine now that the deployment's finished what we can do is navigate down to the directory of where the actual installation folder is. And we can see here there's actually a readme file. Now, this has got instructions for the actual installation, much like on the website, but we also have some examples here about some configuration things. So we can follow these things through. So the first thing that we have to do is we have to get a command prompt up. And we want to follow the commands one at a time. So let's just move this over here. We can see here's our first command. There we go, we've installed the service. The next command that we want to do is to update our target URL for our Big Fix Insights server. So I'll again just copy this particular command and paste that in. Now I'm just going to modify this to be the IP address of my Big Fix server. And that is the name of my Big Fix database, BF Insights. What's the name of my Insights database? Next, we need to define how we hit our big fix or our tenable scanner. 
So in this instance, I'm just going to copy again and change the IP address. Now we just need to set our credentials for our, our both connectors. So first off, we can set our credentials for our Big Fix Insights database. Now, if we just if we just do the command here, just as is without the switches and the, the actual passwords and things, it will actually prompt us for what our connection credentials are. So if you had someone was looking over your shoulder, you can do this and you know have your password obfuscated. We next need to do the same thing for our Tenable SC. Now we need to initiate our IVR schema on Insights. So once again, we can just leave off the credentials bit and it will ask us for our user ID and password. And then finally, we need to validate their configuration. So that looks good. So we've validated it. So the last thing to do is to actually start our service. And that's it. We've now deployed and configured the Big Fix Insights for Vulnerability Remediation Service. So next, what we've got to do is deploy our reports. So I mentioned before that I'm using BI. So this is really only one here to do, BI and Tenable, because it's the, the integration engine I'm using. So I'm going to leave this report going to the default that it puts here in this instance. I'll select my big fix server. Now that I've deployed my report, I'm going to navigate down to where it's actually been deployed to. So it goes into program files, HCL. Insights for Vulnerability Remediations. And I'm going to choose Vulnerable Devices Without Content. So I'll double click on that. That's associated with my Power BI tool. So that's going to launch Microsoft Power BI. And in this instance, I'm using Power BI Desktop. So what I'm going to do here is just click cancel to that. And close and cancel. Cancel. Okay. So now that it's finished attempting to load everything, I'm going to configure my connection to my database. So if we go up the top and we go file, and options and settings. And we want to go to our data source settings. Now there's a couple of things that we can do here. First of all, what we'll do is change our source. So if local host is not the location of your particular server, um, we can certainly put in the IP address of our big fix or, or, or the database of where you've got your BF Insights database. Mine happens to be the same as my big fix server. And it was actually local host, but I'm just doing this for demonstration purposes. Next, what we want to do is also put permissions onto the actual 
connection that we've got here. So we'll edit our credentials and it's our database credentials and we put in the account that has the permissions on that database. Then we click OK. And once we click close, it's going to ask us to apply changes. So we'll do this. And we want to run our queries against the database to get it to populate the information. We want to encrypt support. OK. Run. 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 and run. And here we are, we've got some device details and breakdowns of vulnerability ratings. So that's how we set up our um, Big Fix Insights for vulnerability remediations and then we can start utilizing the capability of the product. So that's all there is for today's content. Here are some helpful resources for you. First of all, we have bigfix.com, which is your landing page to find out further information on product offerings, schedule a demo. Next is support.bigfix.com, which provides you with product documentation and access to create support tickets, as well as details on events and webinars. And finally, forum.bigfix.com where you can interact with other like-minded bit this enthusiasts and ask questions thanks for watching i hope you found the video useful and i wish you continued success on your big fix journey